special pause just going to give you a quick update on what I'm working on at the moment. I haven't got anything finished to show off, so um, and that's going to take me a while. So I'm going to show you what stage I'm at in, in the various things that I've been playing with. First off, there's this thing here, which there's an Arduino under here with a display. And this is a bunch of relays, which are controlled by the Arduino. And the plan, and it, it's not working yet, but the plan is that I will have a um, 7S pack connected to the balance leads here. And then I'll have an extra group connected via this wire here, connected um, through this relay here. And what I'll be able to do is connect the spare group to the first group in my pack and thereby balance those two groups together. Then disconnect, then connect the spare group to the next group and balance those. And then do the same thing all the way through so that this group will be balanced with the average of all of these. And eventually as I cycle through that many, many times, um, the whole pack will be averaged out. And um, so that's the vision. And then I can also um, monitor the voltage levels on one of the analog pins so that I can tell what the voltages are doing um, and do some chart graphing of the balances as they're running along. Uh, so that's the plan with that. I managed to blow my Arduino um, when I first tested it, so there's something's not quite right with my wiring. I've got um, another couple of Arduinos um, ordered, waiting for those to arrive. So that is a half-finished project. Um, another little, um, tiny little thing that I've just got. This is a 7S balancing circuit. So all it does is balance. So if you can imagine a typical um, e-bike VMS will have a balancing circuit, a high voltage cutoff and a low voltage cutoff. And this is just the the balancing function and um, it burns off excess power when the groups reach 4.2 volts um, yeah, but it can only because these are pretty small resistors it will only do 50 milliamps so it's pretty wimpy uh, this costs five dollars us so it's i just bought it as um out of curiosity mostly um, I'm going to wire this up to some balance leads so that I can plug it into one of my one kilowatt hour packs and then see what if any effect it has on the balancing whether 50 milliamps is going to take forever to balance or um, is just too wimpy or or what um, this would be ideal for a half kilowatt hour pack. That would be more appropriate for something of this size. So that's an interesting thing that I've been playing with. Then the other things that I've been working on is putting a BMS, balancing BMS, onto the Lifey Po pack that I built. Uh, if you remember a month or so ago, I had this up and running and without a balancing circuit. Uh, just to see what would happen, and one of the groups went over 3.6, which um, I found quite disturbing, because these are supposed to peak at 3.65 volts, is the maximum voltage um, for the LIFEPO pouch cells. So um, I got myself a, a, an e-bike, cheap e-bike balance in BMS, and that prevents anything going over 3.6 but because I run all my systems um, under the maximum uh, charge voltage I go to about 90% of 
max volt, then the balancing function doesn't really kick in until one or more of the groups um, hits the, the maximum. So I've still got um, a bit more of a spread than I would like to see. Um, so I need to work out um, some way of balancing this without it having to reach the maximum voltage, which is one of the reasons why I was building that um, Arduino-based balancer, because it will work at whatever voltage the pack is at. Um, the other thing that I've done is I've built up another one kilowatt hour from the cells in my power shelf, pulled them out of the power shelf and um, put them into a new bunch of my 3D printed cell holders. And this time I did an experiment where instead of using my um, my nickel plated strapping, it's supposed to be pure nickel but it's actually nickel plated steel so it's not nearly as nice. Um, so I thought I would experiment with the classic twisted mains uh, copper cable. And that has worked kind of okay. Um, I need to refine the design of my um, battery holders so that there's a recess groove that this can fit in because at the moment it's slightly um, higher than the rest of the the rest of the um, the battery. So it's not quite perfect yet, but I'm I'm going to work on the design of that. Um, the other thing that I've done is I've switched to having balance leads that. Um, balance leads that look like these things here, that thing there, um, let me put that down there. Um, so I've switched to having a pair of balance leads on every group, each of the seven groups, um, using those connectors there, and then I have a, a harness that connects to all of those and runs down to um, either a balancing BMS or um, this cell logger which is doing logging functioning. Um, so uh, that's quite nice. Having the balance wires um, as a plug like that means that it's really easy for me to replace any group that might go bad with a spare one. Um, it's just plug in the, the main leads and plug in the balance and hey presto I'm away. So I'm, so I'm almost done a whole bunch of things and um, haven't quite had time to put together the videos describing all that. So that's a quick update to let you know what's going on. Um, otherwise, I'm pottering away on various little things. Um, and that's about it from me. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Cheers.